stenosis is a metabolic disease and as we get older it destroys all of our organs and it's in all of our cells. The initial statement that we found out when Jen and Patrick were diagnosed was that most kids didn't live past nine years old and that was devastating. You have a very sick child here and every day he's looking worse and you're not getting any answers. When you're told your child will die of a rare disease, life changes in a single second. The evolution of cystinosis as a disease was from a rather terrible course with all these children ending up with end-stage renal disease and transplantation to what was an absolutely major change in cystinosis therapy with the introduction of cystamine. And cystamine cystagon therapy has been evolving over the last decade uh, through the efforts of uh, many of the scientists in the cystinosis uh, community. But it is far from a perfect therapy. Can you take this real quick for me? There really was very little hope in terms of optimism for improving the quality of life or potentially finding a cure for the disease. Ah! It's been incredible what's happened in the last two and a half years. There has been extreme strides made already. We've been very strategic in our approach with science. We did fund a lot of basic science, and now we're at the point where we're funding more translational science and clinical studies. The level of research has escalated logarithmically. This is down to the efforts of the Cystinosis Research Foundation, and their phenomenal ability to raise funds and support our studies. We are now seeing projects that promise a new generation of therapies for cystinosis. And that's a very optimistic and a very exciting change. It's all about keeping moving forward. And um, the Cystinosis Research Foundation just really gets it right. The word cure, it, it comes up all the time. The Cystinosis Research Foundation has been funding researchers that are focused on a cure. Basic concept for any therapy for cystinosis is going to be replacing the bad gene with a good gene. The mouse model, when I do that, the, the disease is reversed even better than we expected. I mean, the, the cystin drop from at least 50% in every tissue, uh, and we succeed to stop or prevent, you know, the injury of several tissues, like the bone, the kidney, the liver. That's a great hope. That's, you know, that's a treatment. The Cystinosis Research Foundation has funded projects in, in areas that had never been studied and funded before, such as stem cell research, uh, gene therapy, uh, very careful studies of the biochemistry of the cell in cystinosis, things of this sort, things that we think have a much better chance of leading to an actual cure for cystinosis. We recently formed the CRF Cystinosis Gene Therapy Consortium. This consortium is intended to translate the animal studies into the human clinical trials, launch these clinical trials, monitor them properly, and bring the cure to cystinosis. I think the sense of urgency comes from, in a very personal way, and that's one, seeing our daughter. And realizing and recognizing that um, although she is healthy today, relatively speaking, she hasn't been transplanted, but clearly time's running out for her. I pray that it does happen. And in, as quickly as we hear it, it could, before the kids have to deal with too much more. We have to face the reality of mortality if we don't find a cure or if children are not medicated properly. I realize that I do have this disease and I don't want to die early. And so this affects me a lot. I mean, that's, that's, make, that's my young gene, you know, that's make me walk every day and, and really want to, uh, to do my best. I am overwhelmed, frankly, by the progress that we've made 
with respect to the research that's been done. I must say that I had not expected to see this type of development in my lifetime. This is going to take a concerted effort by a whole number of people. It can be done, and we're going to need everybody's help. Make a wish, say a prayer, don't be scared. Finding a cure means these children really being able to, to dream a dream that's real. And that means graduating from college and high school, having a family, having a career, and having children of their own someday. My biggest wish is to have stenosis go away for everyone.